Alright guys, this is the, the uh, fourth part of this video to show you guys the second last step. Let's move this chair, okay. And this is it right here. Oh, it doesn't matter, it always comes off. It's really flinchy right now. Until I put it onto there and it'll be fine. Um, yeah, pretty much this is the, um... Hang on, uh, the fourth part. This is, this has to go onto here. And, uh, as a surprise to you guys, I'm actually going to record me doing it. So, wish me luck. Uh, okay, I don't think it matters what, uh, basic direction it goes into. But just to be fa uh, safe, I'm going to follow what it says on there anyway. Uh, which is basically you've got these um, elevator things in here, and you've got to basically make sure it's on the right one. But I don't think it really matters. Okay, see it. <laughs> you got to slide it right in. Hit with. Make sure you don't jam your fingers. And I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to go in. Right in there. <laughs> And just a double check. Oh, they don't exactly show you. This book's sometimes annoying. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's what you got to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. Now just push it in. Be careful because this thing, like I said, it can be flingy. <laughs> it's broken a few times and I had to go back like five steps. Uh. Mm. Oh, there we go. That's why damn thing wouldn't click. I uh, click in. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's it. Done. Not oh, still clicking in. Jeez. Hmm, it's not clicking in. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to do that. It's lucky that didn't break. Come on. I don't know, I think I got that in. Is it just supposed to just flim like that? Like, it's like, you know, it's like it... So it gives it like a realistic movement and it's like if it's a windy day. I don't know. See, uh, this damn book is not exactly showing you where it has to go, um, connect to. It's, uh, nothing. So I suppose it's just gonna have to <coughs> leave it like that. And I'll put, uh, I just doesn't, it doesn't seem right to just move like that. Well, basically, so that's basically what it will look like. Let's get out of the way for a second. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to take form. Uh, and then basically what I'm going to put up on here is the the other part and then the flagpole, which is probably about here. So yeah, um, I hope you guys are enjoying this video as I will continue after this short pause. Well, hi guys, this is the final part of my uh, series of this video. And I, as you can see, I have the tower complete, the base that I've showed you before, and now I'll be doing a video showing you guys, in this part I'll be showing you how, me connecting this to that. So let's get going. Okay. So, what we want to do first, of course, is just move this over here. You got to be really careful because this thing is... Very uh, fragile. It just if I if I put it like tip it too much to the left or too much to the right, it this part here will fall off. I don't know why, but it's not very strong connection. It was a bitch to get on to. It took me like twenty minutes because there's a thing under here 
which is the uh, the massive uh, beam that comes from the bottom all the way up the top, and you've got to connect a little. I've got a spare part to show you, but I don't. Um, the tech, the technic ones, those those round skinny ones that you put inside other pieces. That's right there, and you have to get that to connect to the bottom of this uh, face plate right here, and it's a really mongrel. But let's get back to this. Okay, so basically I moved that so I can get a little bit more leverage. Uh, I mean, look how high this thing is. That's definitely over a meter. Okay, now I've got two, four corner things here that I've got to connect this to. So I'm going to gently set it right in there. Just like that. Wiggle it. Little bit, there's a corner over here that's in. Uh, I think I've got a problem with this. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. Ah, there we go, and that's in. Just push it down a little bit, and that's also stable. Oh, it hasn't really, but I think that's actually meant to wobble like that, you know, so it, 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 it realisms, uh, gives it realisticness to like to the wind. So I like that. So there you go. Well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this uh, video in steps of me building the Eiffel Tower. Oh man, this is my sickest build. Look at this thing. I am six foot. I'm standing on the ground. I've got a table, which is about uh, four feet off the ground. And then I've got this thing, which is over a meter. And it's as tall as I am. So, well... Yeah, about an inch taller than I am. So that's one massive build. Um, I definitely recommend it, guys. I'll have a link to a website from Singapore where I got this from. They're really cheap. I got, again, I'll tell you guys how much I paid this. I paid for this $146, including uh, free postage. So no postage costs. And I got it within a week, just under a week. From Singapore to Australia here in Victoria, Werribee. So that's really quick, and I'm really impressed with that. I even gave him a good, um, a good uh, review. So yeah, oh, well, that's the uh, end of this uh, series of videos, guys. So um, again, <coughs> hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, share, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Peace out, guys.